Hello and welcome to this episode of Tracker Magic. In this demonstration I'm going to show you how to delete projects from the tracker. Firstly, uh, the easiest way to delete projects from the trackers, at least in small numbers, is to just delete them manually from the web interface itself. And this is done by clicking on a row and then clicking the red X icon here and removing them one by one from the tracker. If you want to, however, remove uh, larger groups of projects, maybe based on a uh, machine name or a tag, then you can use the project manager uh, and the delete function as part of the uh, tracker admin. It's worth noting that both of these methods just delete the records from the tracker and the portrayal project will still exist on the disk. So this is just removing information about that project from the tracker. If you have deleted the projects from the disk and you want to delete uh, those from the tracker, uh, then you can use the option uh, remove deleted from the uh, crawler execution options. So this will remove um, tracker records when the projects are no longer um, on the disk. So let's take a look at how these different uh, methods work. So the first method of deleting projects is just a simple, easy to weigh uh, method from the tracker web. So first I'm going to choose my projects module and then I'm going to just select uh, a project from a list here or a number of projects, maybe using uh, control. And then I can click on this red uh, X like so and it says delete projects from the database and I can just say OK and then that uh, runs and refreshes the list here. However that can be a bit cumbersome if you've got a lot of projects that you want to uh, delete. Uh, so in particular maybe you want to delete uh, all the projects of a particular um, <coughs> version or <coughs> belonging to a particular user that uh, no longer exists. So the first thing you could do is you could, for example, uh, take a couple of projects and add a tag um, to signify that you know it's uh, no longer a useful project, like maybe tag it old versions, press OK. And then we could, for example, come to the tracker admin and then choosing the project manager uh, module. Here we get a list of uh, projects in the tracker and we have a list of um, options we can add to particular projects which include specifying if it's a reference project or locking it in the database uh, etc etc but one of the other functions we can do here is of course um, delete and you'll notice that this module has some nice uh, filters available so we can for example grab our uh, projects we've tagged here with this old versions tag and then we get these uh, two projects and we can again select them both using control and press uh, delete and here we can say are you sure you want to delete all these projects and press OK and a similar thing is done. <clears throat> so this can be useful if uh, you need to clean up in uh, bulk or uh, want to use the machine name or tag to uh, delete a group of projects. So again, as I mentioned, both these methods simply just remove the records from the tracker and the Portrayal project may still exist on the disk. However, if you've done a big cleanup of Portrayal projects and then want to remove all those projects from the tracker in one go, then we can use a separate function as part of the crawler execution options here. So if I go to crawler execution options, you'll see here I have a uh, option called remove deleted and if I just try and run that we'll get a message here. So it says we've chosen to run the remove deleted. This removes all the project uh, data from the database that can't be found on the disk. So if you've deleted a bunch of projects this is the easiest way to clean up the tracker accordingly. I simply click yes and this will run and clean up my uh, tracker. So that concludes this uh, short demo on how to delete projects. Thanks for listening.